I'm asked very frequently about this. Many people find it difficult to edge joint two boards and get the two edges straight. So we're going to give you a quick demonstration on how that's done. I've got two pieces of wood and they've, they're rough sawn on the edge. They've been rough sawn. So I've got a gap, a gap, a gap, a gap. I've got some hollows and bellies in there. So what you do is usually just put the two edges together like this. It's hitting the bench there, it's hitting here. Whatever is in the middle is floating. Clamp them in the vise and at least you have a starting place. I can feel ripples in one and the other and they're opposite. So take your plane, set it fairly shallow and just kiss the surface to see where the high spots are and you'll hear them elongate. You'll hear the strokes elongate. It'll go ch -ch 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 -ch, and then it'll get longer. It'll go ch -ch -ch. I'm going to set it a little deeper because that's too shallow. Don't worry about being straight at the moment. There's my continuous shaving along the whole lot. It's continuous all the way through. A little bit of a hollow there, not much. And what we're going to do is we're going to now take the plane, put it in the middle, and take a short shaving and lift up the heel, lift up the heel. So I'm taking down the middle. It's taking nothing off in the middle now. And then I elongate the strokes like that. Now, you have to be careful. If you do have a belly, you can follow that belly by just bulldogging the plane down to the surface. Let the plane float across the surface. And let's see how we did by taking the two out of the vise, placing them on the bench, and here are the two edges going together. Can you see I've got a gap right in the middle? That gap is about half a millimeter wide. So my plane is planing hollow. Does that mean that the plane has got a round belly on it? Not necessarily because wood pulls itself as you're planing sometimes. Back in the vise, see how I balanced it on the pencil. Flush, flush here. So what I'm going to do now, here I'm taking, can you see I've got a hollow in the middle, nothing is happening. That can be because I'm pressing too hard on the plane. It could be that the wood is pulling itself in. So if you take your plane from here, push it like this. There, it's taking that shaving. It's taking a shaving from there. I'm going here now. Just take a lift up on the heel. Now then, watch, I'm going to take a shaving all the way through. This is just my true cut. And now I'm going to try again and see what I got. Now I've still got a belly, but most of it, it not a belly, a hollow, but most of it seems to be at one end or the other. So I've got a hollow in the middle, but I'm not sure if it's altogether a hollow or whether I've planed slightly out of square, which brings me to the next thing that I need to do. So I'm putting these back together here. They're flush, flush. Just take a couple of shavings here, like this, and take the shaving all the, oops, all the way through on a through cut. Maybe I retrieved it. And now I've got a perfect joint line all the way through. No gaps, and it came out perfectly. But watch this. What if I'm planed out of square? Let me take you to the blackboard or the whiteboard here, or the piece of paper. Let me show you what I mean. If I have planed 90 degrees dead square across, and I wasn't far off what I just did, then I have no problem when I bring them together. But what if I planed out of square like this? Exaggerated, of course. Well, in the truth, it doesn't matter. You might think when you bring those two boards to put them together that they're going to be out. And here's what happens. When you plane them together like this, if you've plane them out of square, as I say, exaggerated, when I bring this other board up, it's compensated by the same angle. So I still get that perfectly straight cut across. Dead simple. Just practice it, try it, even plain out of square, and then bring them together and see how you did. You'll find that they'll come together beautifully.